Now we are going to see what do you mean by scattering of light. Whenever the light rays incidence on a very small particles, okay, whenever the light incidence on the very small particles, those small particles deflect the light rays in different directions. This is called as scattering of light. Now for example, uh, when you incident a parallel beam of light on the plain polished surface like mirror, what happens? The incident ray and the reflected ray, the angle for the each ray of light is same. So the reflected beam of light is also of parallel rays. But whenever the light incidence on the rough surface that is a stone wall or the brick wall or generally your wall, what will happen? That wall is not a polished surface, it's not a finished surface. Different particles are there, okay? It's a rough surface. So what will happen? There are so many different particles are there sticked on that surface. Whenever the light beam incident on that surface, what will happen? It will incident on different area, different part of the surface it will incident. And then what will happen? The different particle will reflect or the deflect the light in different direction. So the reflected ray will not be the parallel beam of light. For example, if this is the plane mirror and if the light comes here, suppose this is the beam of light comes here, what will happen? The reflection, reflected ray will also be parallel. Why? Because here are so many different rays are there. I have just shown a beam of beam of light. So many rays are there, but every angle is same. Every angle is same. So what will happen? The reflected beam will also be parallel. But suppose your wall is now like this. Don't get amazed by this curved surface because even if you uh, see or watch your skin under the microscope, that will be more rough than this. So don't just see by the visibility. A wall has got a very uneven surface. Okay. Now what will happen? Suppose two rays are there. If one ray incident here and second ray incident here from the beam, what will happen? This will, this angle of reflection something will be different. This angle of reflection something will be different. Our atmosphere is also a mixture of dust, air molecules, smoke, any other material. So the tiny molecules are there. It's a homogeneous mixture. And so the small particles are present. So whenever sunlight incidence or whenever the sunlight comes into the atmosphere, these tiny particles scatter the light in the different directions. If you have visited some uh, sanctuary or some forest, if you have passed through some dense forest where the big trees are there, whenever the sun rays comes through this, comes through the canopy, you can see the scattering of light. You must have observed this if your native place is in the village and the roofs are covered with the grass. Okay, When the sunlight passes through it, inside it scatters. The scattering of light you can see easily. And in that also you can see the floating dust and minute particles also you can see. So this is what the scattering of light is. So this scattering of light, we know that the light is made up of different colors, okay? Now, different colors of light is scattered differently because the particle size in the atmosphere is different. Very small, very tiny particles scatter the blue light most and if the particles are large enough, they can even scatter the white light. But in general, the blue light is scattered most and the red light is scattered least. That means the deviation of the blue light is maximum whereas the deviation of the red light is minimum. Okay, That is why the red light can travel the large, longer distance. The red light can travel longer distance because the deviation of the red light is minimum and that is why the red light is assigned 
as the danger color because you can see the red light from the longer distance than that of blue light. If the red and blue lights are uh, placed together at a longer distance, as the distance and you go on increasing the distance, you go away from that, after a certain distance, you will not able to see the blue light clearly, but the red light is still visible very, very clear. And that is why it is uh, assigned to the color of danger. As I told you that the blue light scatters most by the very fine tiny particles and uh, red light scattered least or deviate least. So this is, this is the reason why we see the sky blue. Whenever the sunlight enters into the atmosphere, I told you the atmosphere is a homogeneous mixture of the dust, uh, tiny, party, tiny other particles, smoke, etc. So what happens? These tiny particles are very, very small, very, very tiny compared to the visible light wavelength. And then what happens? The blue light is majorly scattered by these tiny particles and hence we see the sky blue. But in case of the sunset and sunrise, what happens? The sun is generally at the horizon. So the thickness of the atmosphere is more between the observer and the sun. And the sun rays has to travel the longer distance than that of the mid sky. In that case, what will happen? Since the rays are traveling the larger distance, the longer distance, what will happen? Blue rays or the other color rays, green, blue, other color rays scattered in the travel. And only yellow to red, yellow, orange, red colors can reach the observer because they can travel longer distance without scattering. Particles are very tiny. They hardly scatter the uh, red or the yellow light. The angle of deviation is least in case of the red color. And hence, we feel at the sunset and sunrise, the sun is of red, yellow or orange color. But in case of sky, in the daytime, the sky we observe is a blue color. Because the blue color is majorly scattered by the tiny particles which are present in a huge quantity or the large number in the atmosphere and since the blue light is scattered the most we feel that the sky is blue but what happens whenever astronauts goes in the outer space outside the earth atmosphere what happens outside the earth atmosphere there is no atmosphere at all no particles nothing is there so there is no question of scattering of light and that is why they feel that the outer space is completely black. Okay, this is what the scattering of light is. Now we will see one more experiment. Like I told you that the red light or the red color rays travel longer distance. Let us see uh, one more experiment. This activity is given in your notebook as activity 7.8. What we have done? We take one beaker, okay, in which the clear water is there. There is one cardboard in front of this with a circular hole. Then one convex lens is kept here and then one screen. Now here we have taken one convex lens and then a beam of light. You can use a torch or something so that this is the source of light because we want a parallel beam so we are using the convex lens. So the light rays incidence in this, uh, on this beaker then it passes through the water passes through this hole and from this you get the image. From here you will get the image of this hole. Okay. Now you have to adjust this convex lens so that you will get a very sharp image. The image you get should be very sharp. You have to adjust the length of this 
convex lens front back so that this image on the screen should be very sharp now this was the clear water first now we add the sodium thiosulfide thiosulfide and concentrated sulfuric a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid what will happen the reaction takes place and you will get the colloidal solution that means the small tiny particles will float all over the solution and due to these small particles now what you will observe you will feel that here at this end and the beaker you will feel that color is blue why because the incident light is the blue color is mostly scattered by these tiny particles and the red color crimson red color image sharp image will get here because only those rays can travel the longer distance as the deviation is minimum they can pass through this hole incident on the lens and make a sharp image on the screen this shows that the that means the blue color don't reach here at all you will see the image of crimson red color image you will see here on the screen so the blue color cannot even reach here the blue color cannot even reach to this hole through this hole to this convex lens so that is why you will feel this color blue here because the light is completely scattered by the small particles and a red color as it deviates minimum and can travel longer distance it passes through hole and make a crimson red color sharp image on the screen so this was another experiment done to show the scattering of light that is the blue color scattered most by the tiny particles and the red color can travel the longer distance we all indian must proud that our indian great indian scientist dr c v raman announced his work on the scattering of light on 20th february 1928 and for his phenomenon and great work he's got the nobel prize in 1930 and that is why 20th february is celebrated as the national science day in india now let us move ahead and uh, see few examples which may be asked on this chapter examples are very simple the first example the velocity of light in a medium the velocity of light in the medium is 1.5 into 10 raised to 8 1.5 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second what is the refractive index of the medium with respect to air the velocity in the air is 3 into 10 raised to 8 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second this is the velocity in air and this is the velocity in some other medium so it is very simple we want to find out the velocity of medium that is nita 1 with respect to 2 you have to read this very carefully they have asked the refractive index of the medium here i have taken the v1 as the velocity of uh, light in that medium so i got nita 1 with respect to 2 so we have v2 upon v1 so these two will go up this one relative to v1 goes here and so that 3 into 10 raised to 8 upon 1.5 into 10 raised to 8 so we get 2 the refractive index of the medium with respect to air is 2 extremely simple examples are there in this case you have to just keep in mind that they have asked which refractive index now suppose by mistake see by mistake if you have taken the v1 as a air speed of speed in the air and v2 as a speed in the medium then you have to find out 2 with respect to 1 refer to index of second material with respect to the first material okay so only this hitch is there in these examples otherwise the examples on this chapter are extremely easy let us see one more example what is the speed of light in diamond 
if the absolute refractive index of diamond is 2.4 refractive index absolute refractive index of diamond is 2.4 and velocity of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to 8 let us see one is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second and we have to find out v2 okay now they are given the meter of diamond so here 2 with respect to 1 so we have v1 upon v2 so 2.4 is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 8 upon v2 so just transfer v2 here so the answer is v2 is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by 2.4 so the answer is 1.25 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second have you understood this problem this is very easy either they will give two velocities and they will ask you to find out the refractive index else they will give the refractive index of one material they will give the speed of uh, if they said that absolute refractive index that means it, it is with respect to air or vacuum and you know the speed of light in air if sometime this will not be given you should know this the velocity of light in vacuum or air is considered as a 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second sometime it may not be given they will in this case also they have said that the absolute refractive index absolute refractive index does means with respect to air or vacuum okay so the examples are very very simple let us see one more example it is not a difficult problem but you have to read that problem very very carefully because otherwise you will miss the answer let us see that problem what is the refractive index of a second medium with respect to first medium if the light moves through first medium at the speed of 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second and uh, speed of light in second medium velocity of light in second medium is 1.25 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second so we know that the refractive finding out refractive index is very easy okay you just have to v upon v but now you have to read very very carefully of which medium refractive index they are asked they are asked the refractive index of first medium or second medium let us read that what is the refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium so you have to find out refractive index nita second medium with respect to first medium so it will be v1 upon v2 and what if they are asked for refractive index of first medium with respect to second then v2 upon v1 so if this example is of two marks and if you don't read this problem carefully then you will lose those two marks unnecessarily this is the most foolish mistake you will make in case of this example so read carefully when the velocity velocities of two different mediums are given absolute velocity is not given that means one medium is not air okay for fooling you sometime they may give that the absolute velocity of diamond uh, of light in diamond or, or some other medium is given find out the refractive index of air now in this case you will think that oh the first medium is not given the velocity of light is not given so how do we find out just read it carefully they are given absolute velocity that means the first medium has to be air and second medium whatever they are given and you know velocity of light in air okay we can find out the refractive index of air also if they are given the velocity of light in second medium diamond glass whatever it is okay so these were very simple examples simple problems so now we will move towards question answer session on this chapter thank you